Now to the latest on the coronavirus pandemic. And as always, we're here to give you facts, not fear. The number of global cases surging past 300,000 with more than 13,000 deaths. The death toll in the U.S. now at more than 400 with more than 33,000 confirmed cases. Here in Georgia, 620 cases have been confirmed with 25 deaths. Many counties are now in the triple digits, including Cobb and Bartow. And we want to be transparent here at 11 Alive and tell you that one of our employees tested positive for the coronavirus. We are all taking precautions. Again, I'm anchoring the show this morning from my home in an effort for us to continue to social distance like many of you are doing at home. A prominent doctor is now calling on Governor Kemp to shut down the state before it's too late. Nick Sturdivant joining us live in Midtown with more details on that. And Nick, the doctor says hospitals will soon become overwhelmed with patients. Yeah, that's right, Sheba. Good morning. He also referenced a model that scientists and engineers are using and on its website it predicted that Tuesday would be the point of no return for Georgia. Dr. Carlos Del Rio, an expert in pandemics and chair of the Global Health Department at Emory University, tweeted Saturday at Governor Kemp. It reads, we need at Governor Kemp to act now. The point of no return for Georgia is rapidly closing to prevent a catastrophe in the healthcare system due to hashtag COVID-19. We need for him to shut down Georgia now and a Facebook Live Q&A for him Emory University last week. He suggests Georgia should follow the French government's example in trying to slow the spread. French government has put the entire city of Paris in a lockdown for 45 days. So we need to do this. We can't we should not wait until things have gone off the rails to do something. And coming up in the next half hour, we'll have Governor Kemp's response to this and the state's plan of action moving forward.